One more tree job. That was a tough one. <laughs> yeah. One more job today. All right, this tree's down, limbed, and bucked. They're gonna take care of it with their tractor. Our rent's taken care of. On to job number two. This is like, this is a crazy story. You're not gonna believe this. So, about a year ago, I got an email from a fella named Mark down in Arizona. He was like, I've got these trees on this property that I'm developing. What do you think about coming down to Arizona to cut them? And I replied and I was like, you know, I, I don't know, that's pretty far. Probably not gonna happen. And uh, you know, that, that was over a year ago. So Tony invited me and Gordy to come up and go logging with him, Joe Dirt excavating. And I, we're on the airplane, I go to the bathroom, I'm coming back from the bathroom and I hear, Jake, Jake, is that you? And I turn and there's this fella sitting there. And he's like, I'm Mark, I emailed you a year ago about cutting those trees down in Arizona. I'm like, oh, no way, we're going to Arizona to go logging. He's like, I still need those trees cut down. <laughs> And it turns out it's in the same town that Tony lives in. So I got to messaging him and now we're in Arizona doing a tree job. And it's our it's our last day here. So we worked all week. It's our last day here. And now we've got a tree job to do. It's like the just the craziest, like what are the odds that I see the guy on the airplane? So this is the job we're doing. It's these pines right here. So we've got one, two, and three. This crust, this crusty guy. They're they're developing this mountain. They're gonna blow it to smithereens with dynamite and build a house here. And they've got to remove some trees. So you see these power lines right here. Basically, they're they're gonna handle the, the, the easier trees, but today, me, Gordy, and Tony, we're gonna handle the ones that are in striking distance of the power lines mainly. And it's these ones, and then there are two more down here. So these ones aren't by the power lines, but you can see, you know, this is a really good candidate for barber chair. And Mark has the enough wisdom to know that it's probably best if you just had somebody else cut it. Cause you know, these can split apart like crazy. It's bent over at a wicked angle. So these two trees are gonna come down. We'll cut those last. We're just, we're just cutting the trees down. We're bucking them into firewood and then, you know, cutting the limbs off. And then he's gonna chop it up, burn it for firewood. But it's just the craziest thing that we're, do we're doing a tree job here in Arizona. And we're way up on high on a mountain. 7,500 feet elevation right here. It's way up here. It's just bizarre. This has just been a surreal trip. I just, I don't know what the odds of that are. It'll be the get... perfect trip if we don't hit these wires. <laughs> yeah, this is our last day here, so. Are you taking the one next to the wire or you want me to get her? I'm gonna start on that dead crusty one. I figured we could just leapfrog or something, you know? Okay, I wanna get done before this wind picks up. It's starting to Blow yeah just a tad bit yeah and the and other thing too is you know he wanted us to do this job i don't have any of my climbing gear don't have any rope or nothing we just have our falling gear axe and wedges and chainsaws so i was like well you know we'll see if we can do it so i mean we got up here we didn't even know if we we're going to be able to do this but you know we looked at it and we're like yeah there are power lines and it is a little windy but i think we can get her get her done with just what we've got by the skin of our teeth i think we're gonna we're gonna get this job done <laughs> cross cross my fingers yeah Let's get after it. All right, tree number one, crusty pine. <laughs>
I don't think the sizzle is gonna help because it's dead, but sometimes it helps it hang on just a little longer. It's real limb heavy to my right, and I wanna avoid that first, so it's hard to breathe up here. <laughs> Yeah, like winded. I cut the sizzle because I figure it can't hurt. Probably won't do anything, but why not just throw it in there? Maybe it'll hold a little longer. Nice job, Jake. You didn't even touch nice that fur. Missed the little guy, too. Is my GoPro? Should be right here. Unless I gotta push this right here. <laughs> right where you put it. Uh, yeah, thanks. Nice job. Thank you. serious issues with the oiling. The oil is like, it doesn't go in the bar. I'm not with this off. This chain is hot. It's really frustrating. It's not, it's not the bar, it's the saw. Yeah, I've been having this issue with the saw. It runs really powerfully, but it, it just loses bar oil everywhere. It's like, it comes out of the hole, the oil report a little bit, but it comes out of the, everywhere, but it's not getting in my bar. Really frustrating. I wonder if he's Gordy saw. <laughs>
Now I sort of have a collection of them down there. I don't have to worry about the stuff. Yeah, are there any houses down there? Yeah, there's houses down there. He's, he's a quarter mile away. It's not long, a quarter mile. Uh, going down the mountain. Yep. All right, number two, Tony's up. Number two, I'm gonna sneak it right where Mark's standing. What, the big one? <laughs> Got more chain? Yeah, it's lot. so rocky here. I didn't even see that rock sitting right on the other side. Yeah. Gordy got his chain. My, yeah. Gordy brought like 10 chains. <laughs> Smart guy. This ground is so rocky. Yeah. Gordy's smart. He, I was like, ooh, you hit a rock. He didn't even try cutting anything else. Just shut this off. Now he's gonna go grab another chain. Well, I can run this for a little while. Do the old oil on the bar trick. So it'll actually get me by for a few minutes. Man, I didn't even know that rock was there. Yeah, they're everywhere. Oh. Oh yeah, that'll do. What are you doing? I was just gonna cut a little more. Oil in my, <laughs> my bar. on this one because I want to do it as shallow a face cut as possible for as much room for wedges as possible.
I wanted to be more to the right than I was. I brushed that fur a little bit, but I was trying to save that little tree, but I broke it, so it was, you know. I should have just aimed more over there, but I was trying to save that little tree, and it just broke anyways. Barely missed that fur, so. bonus tree here we found this this rotten sucker so Gordy's gonna fall this one over there too I can go straight up the middle but I'm gonna kind of limb those down you know power buck them off or I can go to the left and risk hitting the fur the fur is kind of tough <laughs> I hit it a little bit <laughs> I just got the limbs though and like the tips I, yeah that's tough I I would just shoot right to the side of this thing i think it'll be okay if you can get it like you know right on this side of this little tree she doesn't want to lose any more trees than she has to so i just don't want to hit that fur again. trying to decide do we risk hitting the fur or do we risk hitting this one we just asked which tree do you like better that that fur on the corner or this pine right here so then maybe you should try to shoot in between them i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot the gap then mark is that cool you do whatever you need to do gordon Gonna, this is a rotten tree, so yeah, he's gonna go where he wants to go. Yeah, so we're gonna he's gonna try to sneak him in between these two. We're gonna err on the side of destroying this tree rather than destroying that tree. Let her rip. <laughs> Husqvarna does not like me. Man. Had issues with both our huskies this trip. Well, it didn't go between them, but it rolled right off. Damn it. That's perfect though. Look, you missed all the trees. Yeah, that was pretty freaking good. Yeah. That worked out perfect. It kind of started to hang, and then it just yeah, twisted off that one. Hey, it, it didn't do what we thought it was going to do, but it was perfect. It was even, it was great. That was cool. It didn't even hit the fur. It didn't hit the fur or nothing. That was wild. That was wild. It was just was dancing that? around up there. It just rolled right off. Perfect. You see it? And we didn't want to go? Yeah. It was too thick. The brush was too thick to pass through. Yeah, Crazy. It didn't have enough inertia. You know, it just hit and then just rolled. It only went about six feet. And then it got yeah. Started. These higher elevation pines are way tough. Yeah, they grow slower. They're they're harder. They're denser. They hold on for a long time. They it just tipped slowly. It didn't have enough inertia, so it just <laughs> it just rolled right out. It was perfect though. Look at that. It's awesome. Couldn't have couldn't have gone better if you tried. So last two of the job, we're gonna finish it off. We got this bent over banana tree here. I, it's not very large in diameter. I don't have a whole lot of room to bore cut it. If I go straight in the back, I think this will barber chair. 
You want to see if it barber chairs? Should I board cut it or just see if it barber chairs? I don't, I don't think it's going to barber chair. These really hold on. Yeah, I'll just go straight in the back cut. Let's just see if it barber chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will. I, I cut a, I, I cut a big I one. I think barber chair is a myth. <laughs> I cut a big one out on Joe's job, and I was like, it was heavy, but they do barber chair. But I feel like the uh, the hardwoods barber chair are worse than the conifers. I rarely see conifers barber chair. Not to say you shouldn't be careful or whatever, but I rarely see it. I never seen a fur do it. This, this is a, warm or cold. This is a pretty small tree. It doesn't have a lot of weight, so. <laughs> <laughs> they rarely do that worked out good that worked out good i'm actually surprised how it held on for a long time yeah i did a, a pretty good size one at tony's job there i bore cut the first one and i was like i'm gonna see what this thing will actually hold on you see it didn't oh uh, kevin was standing there and i said watch this <laughs> <laughs> it is it, it's fine they, it's they hold on good Mark, I'm wrapping up this video here. I just want to say thanks for the work. What do you think about seeing me on the airplane there? <laughs> it was pretty crazy. <laughs> what are the it's odds? I was crazy. I was just telling the folks on YouTube how it was just totally random. You emailed totally me a year ago, and then yeah. we ran into each other on the plane. Yeah. You're from Washington originally? Yeah, originally. I appreciate you uh, making time for us and come up and do the job. You know, we had a really tight schedule. We are just leaving tomorrow. That we yeah. <laughs> just barely worked out. <laughs> yeah, it worked out really well, so, actually. That was so yeah, crazy. Very but cool. Yeah, nice thanks job. for having us out. I appreciate More it. Welcome. That was More awesome. Welcome. Was it fun to watch watch live? Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> the a live blast, show. actually. It was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> That's so, so cool. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah, thanks so, again. You're welcome. All right, we're headed down off this mountain. We are way that heck up here 7400 feet so we're just taking this uh we gotta take this rental car back gotta hop on an airplane back in vacation mode for <laughs> a few hours <laughs> but i i just can't believe that was just the craziest job i just what are the odds that the guy emails me and then the year goes by i just happen to see him on an airplane and not the airplane coming back from arizona but going to arizona just happen to see him in the whole state of arizona he just happens to live you know, right by where we're working. He still needed the trees down and he recognized me. It's just the craziest way that I've gotten a tree job ever. It was so rad, it was fun. And he was really a, a cool guy, so was Tony. Uh, they, uh, they cooked us burgers and stuff, so now we're just headed down and this is the, the end of the trip. We're flying back to Washington. It was a really great trip. Me and Gordy got to do a ton of stuff. We even, uh, you know, after work one day, we drove to the Grand Canyon. Yesterday we saw Zion. It was just an awesome trip. Everything just, you know, sometimes these trips, you do these trips and it's like, feels like everything goes wrong. And this one, it felt like everything just fell into place. It was really cool. It was a really cool experience. I had no idea there were even trees in Arizona before this trip. And I have a newfound respect for the Southwest. It's, it's really beautiful down here. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. I appreciate you guys watching our little adventures. I appreciate you coming with me, Gordy, and driving <laughs> driving me around. Yeah, I haven't driven once. <laughs> I haven't driven once since we got here. It's I'm nice. Chauffeur. Yeah, Gordy's my chauffeur. I'm his tech support. He can't figure out how to use his phone, <laughs> so <laughs> so I handle that for him. Okay. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out our stores, SappySupplies.com for Arborist gear. You can check out Gordy's store, WestCoastSaw.com. And yeah, I just hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.